Hello and welcome to your daily energy report. I'm Ben Lack. After 584 days of traveling around the world, the solar-powered vessel Toronor Planet Solar finally docked in Monaco. The vessel, along with its five-member crew, is the first ship to travel using zero fuel. Instead, it relied on solar energy for power. This solar-powered vessel was first conceptualized by Raphael Domain in 2004. After two years of design and development, the vessel was created with a solar photovoltaic surface area of more than 530 square meters and a capacity of 93.5 kilowatts. According to the Solar Electric Power Association, Jersey Central Power and Light is one of the top 10 utility companies in the nation for the installation of new solar power within its service area. The company also ranks sixth in newly installed solar power capacity in 2011 with a total of 53 megawatts. JCPNL serves more than 1 million New Jersey customers in the counties of Burlington, Essex, Hunterton, Mercer, Middlesex, Monmouth, Morris, Ocean, Passac, Somerset, Sussex, Union, and Warren. The WMS Hart Union High School District in California was commended by civic officials and leaders on the installation of solar power systems in nine schools. The district partnered with Pesomas FMG for the finance and installation of the 7 megawatt solar project. The solar power system will help reduce the district's electricity consumption as well as provide students a first-hand experience on the use of clean and renewable energy. Construction for the 30,400 PV panels is almost complete and all solar power systems will be operational by school year 2012-2013 in the following schools Golden Valley High School, Canyon High School, Valencia High School, West Ranch High School, Sangus High School, La Mesa Junior High School, Rancho Pico Junior High School, Rio Norte Junior High School, and Sierra Vista Junior High School. San Diego Gas and Electric has recognized 13 local businesses as energy champions for their outstanding efforts in energy efficiency and conservation by taking advantage of the many rebates and incentives that are available through SDG&E's energy efficiency and demand response programs. The University of California, San Diego, Alexandria Realty, City of Chula Vista, Energy Curtailment Specialists, Hotel Del Coronado, IKEA, Isis Pharmaceuticals, Lemon Grove School District, Qualcomm, the Salk Institute for Biological Studies, the San Diego Convention Center, Siemens, and the United States Marine Corps are the 13 energy champions. All in all, these SDG&E customers have saved more than 24.6 million kilowatt hours of electricity and more than 500,000 therms of natural gas. And finally, according to the market research by ID Tech X entitled Organic Photovoltaic Technologies Players and Forecast 2012 through 2022, organic PV market will explode by over 1300 percent by 2022. Organic photovoltaics is currently valued with a market share of $4.6 million and ex is expected to increase $630 million in just 10 years. The market explosion can be attributed to its good performance under indoor lighting conditions with low capital expenditures and low energy production costs using printable plastics. The market growth will be predominantly driven by electronics and apparel posters and POP smart labels and off-grid developing world applications. That's your Daily Energy Report. To learn about these stories and more, please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and also make sure to check out our podcast on iTunes. For the Daily Energy Report, I'm Ben Lack. Thanks for watching.